Okay, a quick um, study on circles and squares and what they are and how they're involved in the magic as well as time and what they mean. So first off, the most basic thing that people need to understand is that the circle is an image that means nothing that contains everything. It's the egg, it's the wholeness with the W-H-O-L, because whole can be inside or whole can be outside. It's the whole whole. <laughs> it's everything. There are no angles in a circle. There are not 360 degrees in a circle. That's just a way to chop up time and to top, chop up things into angles. And angles are angels. This is why the language has to do with gods and demigods and angelic beings because the letters are chopping up something and this is the most basic format of where language and time division starts it starts with the zero and the first thing would be a line so that would be the one and the zero the male and the female but what's used most commonly is a, is a square or a box because a one can't contain a zero but a box can and so those have to do with the four angels Four angles, my video I did on the force, or the fours, what those four things are, the air, fire, earth, and water that is contained within the circle. And this goes into squaring the circle and Freemasonry and things, and how things are viewed through the wrong, well, maybe not the wrong, but the opposite mirror. So they, everybody talks about squaring a circle. That would be putting a box around a circle. That would be a containment unit for everything. And so by putting four walls or four laws, or four angels, or four angles, you put those four L's, so those actually your hand makes an L when you put it out in front of you. You have an L there, that's why you have the hands of God. The L's are the Elohim, the Ang L's, the 90 degree angle that you create. So those are the coroners. The corner, the coroner is what traps light. So those four angles and that square is the containment vessel for a, for a circle, for a zero, for the everything. And then from there, you can use different, uh, different shapes and you can either put them outside of the circle as the containment unit for what the circle is, or you can put the circle outside of that. And this goes into the difference between the timekeeping that is done for most people in a calendar that is that uses squares and boxes and calendars that it use circles the the furthest point from the most basic concept is the idea of what a Mayan calendar is it's a circle that contains all sorts of different shapes it's magical it's time it's a time lord device and it's it contains everything within the whole of eternity within a zero but whenever you start putting things in a box there are four things that control that so in the middle of the page, you see a, a box, then a circle, and a box, and a circle. So this is the leveling up of taking uh, four angles or four angels or four ideas and putting something around that and containing what's inside of that. And this goes on back and forth. One is considered male and one is considered female. The female is the circle, and it's the idea of the right brain and the left hand, and the masculine more orderly cons constructed square rectilinear shape the square shape has to do with the male idea it's the one that turns into four angles so the ideas here are not only philosophical but they're magical and spiritual as well in the idea of what the electricity is the l's and what the magnetism is or a hole the pole and the hole the hole which is the feminine, which sucks things in and pulls things magnetically. So it's the electricity and the magnetism. One is referencing the squared, the squared angular electrical angles of things. And one is the, the containment vessel for everything. It's a holster. It holds. It, it's a hole. And so by using these things in unison, you can create something. You can create time. And that's the back and forth. The, the play of the male and the female dynamics in the universe. And by putting it onto a, a format of a piece of paper, the papacy, and this goes into my other videos about 
time and how to create sigils and how to create a calendar, the idea is to, you can, you can circle time, you can box time, you can do it either way that you like, but a more holistic approach is always to have it within a circle. Because the circle gives possibility, endless possibility, where a square says, no, it's here, here, and here. Now, when you put a box around a circle, it's confining. But when you put a circle around a box, that box can, can spin around and do anything within that circle. You can put as many angles as you want in a circle. You could equally put as many circles as you wanted in a box, but that's a containment unit. It's a vessel. See, where a box... Within a circle, it changes, it changes the concept. It flips it over. One, one is a lot more comfortable for, for everyone to look at. Anybody, I can't imagine too many people thinking that a, that a circle inside of a box is a more comfortable thing to observe. Where a circle, where a box inside of a circle, that's a, that's a relaxing, it's more of a comforting thing. The, the circle holds and protects the square instead of the other way around. Now, this just goes into the, the difference in philosophies of matriarch and patriarch societies. But if we can flip it back and forth quick enough, then you can see that one contains the other and vice versa. There's one protects the other and the other. So just like a, a, a female protects the egg when a, uh, a baby is inside, the male protects the female from, so it's, it goes back and forth. The egg is, is held by the woman, but the woman is protected by the man because the woman can't, it's, it's the game of chess. It's the, it's the feminine, it's, it's, you could kill the feminine, but the, trying to get to the king, but the king is always the pawn, and the pawn, if it crosses the board, becomes the king. It's, it's, or, you know, it's always, it's encoded in everything. But in this philosophy, whenever you want to create something, if we get into even the Fibonacci sequence, or, or phi, or pi, we can see the connection between the human body as a five-pointed star, is the pentagram. As this is, this goes into why on the teacher's desk there's an apple, and why, you know, the first sin, the first sine wave was connected to the apple because the apple has five seeds in it. The five seeds of the pentagram. So that that five point of stars is always connected to magical arts. It's putting a circle around a a, a star. So that circle contains the star. I mean, it's, so there, there, it's, it's shown. The philosophy of everything is shown right there. And and as if you go back and forth with this, you can, you can create what then becomes a mandala or becomes a clock. It becomes a time device. And so you create time devices out of, the ideas of, uh, layering male and female perspectives and energy on top of each other. And then we can get into further things, six-pointed stars and seven-pointed and what a triangle would be. Now, all of these things just link out to different variances of perspectives and a combination of a male and female. Like, for instance, a triangle obviously gives you the triune of the male-female creating the third, which is the child. And so there's a lot of philosophy in there. And then you can go on to more angles within a star, what a seven-pointed, what a ten-pointed... But nonetheless, they all still come out of the zero and the one, dividing it up to angles. And the angle that most people live on right now is 360 because they believe in that. They believe in seven days in a week. They believe in 52 weeks in a year. And they believe in 360 degrees in a circle and 365 days in a year. And that extra five is about the five cycle reality we live in. And so that's a belief system. It's not a truth. It's not, a, it's not the ultimate truth. It's a time cloaking device. And so by you internally understanding that infinite, <laughs> infinite creation is possible, you create your own map and your own time. Your map is your time. Your time is your map. It, it, they're hinged together. It's time and space. And you can create time and space on a two-dimensional surface, which becomes these maps that we see and becomes these calendars that we see. So I hope this um, cleared some, some things up for everyone. And uh, from here you can start to, and this again, this goes into making your sigils. Making sigils and making maps and making time. And this goes into putting anything that you'd want, any kind of shape that you'd like within a circle. To give that circle, because what the circle is, again, and here's a little further for you all. The circle is just like an egg. It's, it's the shell around it is containing and helping something to grow. So that circle is the 
containment vessel for whatever idea that you have. So if you put a sigil inside of a, a circle, what you're doing is you're putting that, again, it goes from your conscious mind to your subconscious. It goes to the, the realm that you cannot see. It puts it in there to protect it, to deliver it to you in the future. And by, by putting circles and squares around it, you're giving levels of protection, levels of ideas, levels of reality, and levels of focus as well. So by looking again at the Mayan calendar, how much intensity went into that, how much thought and purpose of, of creating time. So that circle, again, is a, is a housing unit for something. And when you go and you take a piece of paper and use your pen, your, use your pencil, Use your pentagram to write something. You write your rights in, within a circle, and then you burn it to the, to the ether through the fire. What you've done is you've just accepted, say, this is what I want, and you've, eliminate, you've eliminated and transmuted. You've eliminated the device, and you've transmuted the energy that you put into that pen, that pencil, and onto that paper, and you've said, I have, I've put it off into another, into the ether, into the smoke, into the mist, into the mystical realm, where that goes into your subconscious, that goes into, your, into the higher realms, it goes into the place where birthing and creation happens. So that's how magic really works. Now again, you can, people hold on to sigils, people hold on to, to time devices, and this says almost that you don't believe in it. If you look at a calendar, you almost don't believe in time. You almost don't believe it really exists. But if you were to burn a calendar, then you'd accept it and you'd put it out there and then you'd, you could create something new. You could create a new calendar. You could create something new beyond that. But you'd have faith in it because you'd burn it. Because you'd say, okay, it's been done. I accept that that's going to happen. And so the idea of keeping a sigil for a while, this, this is for larger ideas that people have. They hold on to things for a little longer. Oh, the, let, me, let me make sure that's what I want. Let me make sure I think that can happen. Because now, now we, we go into doubt and we go into, mm, I don't know. And, it, and in charging a sigil, and, and there's bigger things that people don't think can happen. If you, if you, were, if you, if you didn't have any money and you wanted a million dollars, well, it'd be, it'd be a lot. It, for most people, it would take a little longer to uh, have the faith or belief in the idea of, okay, maybe, maybe we should just start with, I can get a hundred bucks and then put that on a piece of paper and then burn that. Because that, they could accept that as a possibility. So by holding on to something that's larger, I mean, this could, you could hold on to anything. You could hold on to something small. You could hold on to something big, whatever it might be. But as soon as you put it into a fire or transmute it, you allow that to, you allow the universe to provide it for you. So I hope this answered everyone's questions and uh, we'll chat soon. Cheers.